Hello, I'm Philip Wade, and this is video number one of Exercise for Old Men warm up series. Because we're going to be doing warm ups for quite a while, we have to develop everything out. So, I've been doing this for a few months now, and I can already tell a big, big difference. I want you to be able to feel the same difference too. So, please like and subscribe, follow these videos, be careful, be safe, and don't hurt yourself. Now, the focus on the first several exercise videos is going to be on the warm-up because the warm-up is so important you want to make sure when you do start to do exercises that you don't pull something strain something and make you have to go backwards so let's go ahead and get started uh, what i like to do first is just loosen everything up move my shoulders the shoulders are so very important now you'll probably hear me huff and puff as we go but that's what it's all about huh i'm just moving no weights no nothing I'm just moving everything. This is, there's two types of stretching. There's dynamic stretching, which is what we're doing right now. We're just moving everything around, get everything going, loosen everything up, stretching just a little bit, not really stretching hard. Mostly we're just trying to move everything, get everything lubricated, get the blood going through everything. Take a deep breath, blow it out. And again, blow it out. Now I've been doing these exercises for about three months and uh, I want to tell you warm-ups are so important. See warm-ups are easy, easy, easy. But actually you'll find out, especially if you're in bad shape, that uh, warm-up is actually toning up your muscles too. It's a form of exercise by itself. You know we'll be doing other things to warm up everything, get our heart going, using different muscles all the way around. There's two types of stretching. There's the dynamic stretching, which is what this is. We're moving, just waking everything up, sort of taking things towards the limit, not really pushing the limit, but we're not stopping and holding in one place. Oops, not stopping and holding in one place at all. Static, <clears throat> static stretching is a lot different. It's kind of like holding a yoga pose. Static stretching, causes your tendons and your muscles to get longer so that you have a better range of motion. Oh yeah, just, okay. Now just after a little bit of this kind of stuff here, we're just gonna start up a little bit better warm up exercise here. We're gonna start with the shoulders. I really like to start the shoulders first because so much of what we're gonna be doing is shoulders. Now we're old men. We're not going to be jogging in place. We're not going to be doing jumping jacks. So we're going to work on the things that we need to work on. Holding your arms straight out, straight out, shoulder height. Work little circles. Just keep going little circles. We're just going to do this for a little while. Uh, you can start to feel it a little bit in your shoulders. Now the good thing about warm-up exercises, when you're just starting to work out, you haven't been working out, you're so bad out of shape. And that happens, the older we get, the longer we go without exercise, and then we all of a sudden realize, wow, I haven't really gotten a serious in exercise in over a year, and look at me. Yeah, I'm fat, look at this. I'm fat, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I have a hard time getting my weight down, but I'm hoping these videos will help me get my weight down as well. Matter of fact, I might as well record it. Right now I weigh 224 pounds. I think I should set a goal of getting down to 210 first, get down there, and then maybe I can drop down a little bit more, get down to 200 pounds. All right, let's keep on doing the shoulder exercises, let's get back into that, go in the opposite direction now, just still keeping the small circles. Breathe in, breathe out. Now when you breathe in, try and take a full deep breath in, but when you blow out, try and blow everything out. All that you can blow out. Whew. All right, now I can feel that in my shoulder somewhat, feel it in my neck too. Let's go ahead and start moving the neck. I'm just going to put my hands on my hips. Oh, rotate my head this way and that way, up and down. Hold it for just a little bit in each position. Look all the way to one side, trying to keep your shoulders straight. You don't want to try and turn your body because you're trying to stretch your neck like this. All right, do a couple more of those. Do some rolls, roll your 
head this way. Roll your head the other way. Arch your back back a little bit. Do a stretch like you do in the morning when you wake up. Oh, like that. Really pull your elbows back so you can feel it in your upper part of your chest right here. Oh, now stretch over this way a little bit. And over this way. All right, now then. We're going to do the same thing with the shoulders, but now we're going to make bigger circles. Real big circles, way up high. See, this is casual workout. You can do this in your bedroom, in your living room. Do it on your back porch. You know, there's nothing magical about this. We're not using any kind of special equipment. We know we're not muscle bound, but you know what? These warm up exercises I'm going to give you, I'm going to start with exercises to work your biceps and your triceps and some stuff like that, your shoulders up here. And over the next few days, you're really going to be able to start to feel it. All right, now then, I want to start to bend down a little bit. Bend down, just let it hang down for a little bit. And rotate your shoulders one way. Rotate your shoulders the other way. Squat down a little bit and stand up. Let's do that again. Squat down. Oh, excuse me. Squat down. Lean forward. Rotate this shoulder. When you rotate this shoulder and you're keeping your back straight, you can feel it pull the hamstring right here. All right, do the other side. Now I can feel my right hamstring doing the same thing. Now squat, stand up, that's starting to do a little bit better. Now we want to get our heart pumping a little bit more. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to take a chair. I'm going to sit down in the chair, not using my hands. I'm just going to stand up, sit down, stand up. And when you go to sit down, sit down slow. Try and keep your toes pointed straight ahead, about shoulder width. Stand back up. Doing these are slow motions. We're not in a speed contest right here. We're just trying to wake everything up, wake our muscles up. Yeah, let's do about 10 of these. And a squeaky chair. If you can't do 10, do five. Because we're just going to start off with wherever you're at. You know, like I said, we're not in some kind of competition to build big fancy bodies. We just want to make sure we're good and healthy. All right. Well, maybe one more. I haven't been counting. Hey, P Turkey. Okay. All right. Now then, I'm going to move the chair back out of the way a little bit. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to, you see I'm so comfortable, so I'm, going, I'm wearing flip-flops. This is casual. All right, you don't need special workout clothes. All right, I'm going to do a lunge. I'm going to step forward, try and keep my back a little bit straight. I have to lean it forward a little bit, lean it back. Stretch this back here, bend this knee forward. Hold it a little bit and come back up. Do it with the other leg. Now I've had both knees replaced. I've had a big toe fused. So I'm not as limber and all that as I used to be. But then again, I'm 71 years old, about to be 72. I'm trying to stretch my calves out a little bit. I don't know if you can see it very well. Trying to keep my foot flat on the ground or bring it down, bring that heel down, stretch the back of that calf. Now we can also stretch our calves uh, on the stairs and that really helps for plantar fasciitis as well. We'll be doing that one later. The uh, sitting in the chairs and getting back up, you'll burn some calories and some energy and your body will start to say, oh, I need a little bit more oxygen but it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for that to catch up before you start to breathe. Okay. I'm gonna spread my legs about shoulder width apart. Keeping my, my legs as straight, I'm gonna just hang down for a little bit. Just let it hang. Feel a little bit of tension in here. 
on the calves as well. Just let it hang down as far as you're comfortable with. I've been doing this now, like I said, for about two and a half or three months, and I'm just getting to the point where I can touch my toes without bending my knees. All right, now let's bend the knees. Try and put your hands flat on the floor. Come back up. It's one. Two. Notice how slow we're going. That's four and five. That's enough of those for right now. We'll come back and do more thigh exercises as we go. Okay. Now, I don't usually use these now because I'm a little bit beyond that. But this set of weights is two, three, and five pound dumbbell sets. Notice there's two each. It means you can do things at the same time. So I'm gonna start off, I'll just use the five pounds. Normally I would use the eight pound now, but I'm gonna use the five pounds. Take a deep breath. Breathe it all in. And breathe it all out so you can feel it emptying out this part of your lungs down at the bottom. We wanna open our lungs up more too. That's part of the warm up routine. That's part of the whole idea of exercising is to get the blood circulating, get your lungs opened up, get your heart pumping. Now then, we're going to do some curls. I want to show you uh, three basic types of curls. One is the hammer fist. Your hands are pointing towards each other and the dumbbell is facing straight up and down. Another is a reverse curl, still holding your elbows in the same place. Your hands or palms are facing down and you bring them all the way up and all the way back down. That's the reverse curl. And then a standard curl like this, hands up. So that's what we're gonna do now. So now what we wanna do is, I like to start with this one first. And the reason I like to start with the, the reverse curl first is because to me it's the hardest one. And this one, the hammer fist is maybe the easiest one or maybe this, I don't know, they're both about the same. So start off with whatever weight you're comfortable with. I don't care if you have to just hold a small jar of peanut butter in each hand or a can of beans in each hand, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna do one, bring it up fast and back down slow. Two, three, four. I'm going to continue till I have 20. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You may want to stop at seven or eight because you're going to have to do change over to the other direction immediately after this. All right, now then, I'm gonna change over to this. Now notice when I do the curls, I'm not doing this, and I'm not doing this. I'm keeping my body straight, my posture is good, my position is good, my elbows are in the same place. I'll come up quickly and down slow. Now I'll do 20 of these as well. And notice there's no resting break in between one set and one direction and the next set. I don't know how many that is. I'll cut this out. All right. That's 20. All right, now I'll change over to the hammer fist. One. Two. Don't forget to breathe. And when you breathe, breathe deep. Six. 
you know, it may have felt real easy to do 10 to begin with in the first direction. And then you do 10 more the next one and 10 more the next one. And all of a sudden you realize, whoa, my muscles are getting tired. They're starting to scream and holler a little bit because you're not used to it. All right, that's 20. All right, now I want to show you something. I'm sure you're starting to feel this right in here a little bit. Right in here a little bit. Yeah, because your body's not used to it. You know, and actually that warm up is actually starting to tone your muscles. So you'll feel this tomorrow. I'm going to put these five pounds back, put this back down here out of the way. Go back to my eight pounds because that's what I normally use myself. All right, now then, I've just finished. I've just finished uh, doing my curls. So immediately I'm going to go to this, go up, just like I've got the hammer fist, but my hands are going to be over my head. My elbows are pointing forward. My back is straight. One, up fast down slow, two, three. Now this is an area you don't usually stretch at so much. And you may also feel it down here in the lower part of your back if you're standing up. So if, you, if that feels a little strange, sit down on something like this bench <clears throat> and do it there. That will keep your back straighter at the bottom and relax those muscles a little bit more that's right around your belt line on the back. And I'll do about 20, 25 of these as well. Still just warming up, but this is also at the same time as more like an exercise. All right, 25. Now I'm changing over to this motion. See, I'm working the muscles on the back side of my arm and the top of my shoulders at the same time. And all I'm using is just some inexpensive dumbbells. All right, that's probably enough for a warm up. Now, I want to tell you, you know, this little set of dumbbells I was just showing you here. Let me bring these back up. Now, this little set here is a two, three, and five, like I said a minute ago. I looked at the sports stores. Here we have a Dick's and a Academy Sports, I looked at both of those. Neither one of those had anything like this uh, in the store, but you had, well, you'd have to order them online. But online prices were really high. I checked on Amazon, and for under $40, you could get a set like this. Um, maybe not the same name brand, but they're the plastic coated weights, two, three, and five pounds. And uh, beginning your workouts, beginning your muscle tone, really that's all you need. I'm going to start doing some squats. I'm going to move this chair back over. If you need a support, you have a support, just your hand on a chair or something like that. We just want to squat down, trying to keep our back straight, keep our heels flat on the ground, come back up. Don't you put your hands on your legs. Don't push yourself back up like this, but let it be just your leg muscles. All the way down, bringing my arms out. Slow down. And slow up. Go as far down as you can, keeping your heels flat. Actually, I do pretty well for having both knees replaced. I have a full range of motion, just like I never had a knee problem in my life. My limitations are I can do squats, but not with squats with weights, you know, like with a dumbbell, a barbell on my shoulders and stuff. I can play doubles tennis. You don't run as far on that. But they told me don't run on them. If I want them to last 25 years like they're designed to last, I have to take care of them. Oh yeah, I don't know how many we're doing on this. But I can really start to feel it in my thighs now. I'm breathing now, you can hear me. Do about two more. How are you doing? You keeping up? And this is just a wake up beginning, wherever level you're at. If you can't do as many as what I'm doing here, do what you can. Now then, I'm gonna put my knee up on the bench, uh, stretch it out up here. 
You can use a chair if you need to. Make sure it's a stable chair. Stretch those thigh muscles out. Stretch it back here in the leg as well. If you're not breathing a little bit heavy, you're not quite doing enough. The object of warm-ups is for muscle toning, circulating the blood, getting all your joints lubricated. And we start off with a dynamic stretching just to sort of wake everything up. And then we start to do stuff to make the heart pump. My heart's pumping pretty good. So now I'm gonna show you some static stretching. When we get old, you know, like a little child's like a pretzel. Good grief, they'll turn knots and everything else. You can fold them over. Now I'm stretching out further on my groin stretch than I used to. But like I said, I've been doing this for about two and a half or three months. Uh, I'm doing it at least two times a week. I try to do three times a week, but sometimes that doesn't happen. There I go, slide out a little bit further. I can feel my feet sliding. I'm trying to keep my toes pointing straight ahead. I'm just trying to hold this position. And I'm just gonna hold it for, you know, another 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Let this in here just really stretch out. You don't wanna do this when you're cold. You want your body to be warmed up, blood circulating when you do this. Now I'm gonna thrust my hips forward some, make that a little bit more burn in this area here. Hold it for a little bit. Now when you're breathing on this, don't forget to blow everything out and take deep breaths. Slow your breath down so you're not huffing and puffing, but that you're I'm breathing through your nose. Blow out through your mouth. All right, now then. I'm going to have to walk myself out of this. I should have showed you something else first. When you're doing the static stretches like this, you get yourself in a situation where like, uh-oh, I'm stuck. I'm starting to slide. Have something like a chair or something in front of you that you can touch just to hold your balance because at one point we're going to lean forward like right now. I'm going to lean forward, put my hands on the floor if I can. Just hold this position, position a little bit. Try and keep your back straight or try and straighten your back. You still feel it in the groin area. I'm going to go down a little bit lower. Hold that for a little bit. Feel the burn. All right. Now then, <laughs> are you so fat that when you bend over to tie your shoes, you have to hold your breath? Like, <sighs> blow it all out, tie real quick, but so you can take another breath. Well, I'm almost that way right now myself. So this, these exercise videos are focused to help me as well. All right, so I wanna bend down like I'm gonna touch my toes. I'm not reaching my toes, so I'm gonna bend my knees, get my hands down here. All right, now I'm gonna to start to stretch my legs out straight. See how close I can get my legs to being straight. Not quite straight yet, I still got a pretty good bend right there, but I can come back down, take a little break, push it back up again, maybe come over this way to straighten my legs up. I'm trying to keep the back straight if I can. It's kind of hard to do though, but you can really feel the stretch back here. All right. That's day one. Now I want you to repeat this three times this week. Three times, trying to do the same type of exercises. You may modify it a little bit one way or the other, but make sure you get your heart rate up. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Make sure you get your heart rate up. Work your shoulders. Well, really make sure you work your shoulders. Do the dynamic stretching to begin with. You know, wake up a little bit. Wake everything up, get everything going. 
and then start to do these stretching exercises. As we progress in these videos, we'll be adding more exercises to it. We'll be adding some uh, slight weights to it that'll increase your muscle tone and start to bring you better into a uh, all round body shape. God bless you and enjoy the workout. Enjoy the burn. So, I wanna ask you something. Why do you wanna watch these videos? Are you gonna participate? You know, the hardest part about exercising is getting out there and starting to do it in the first place. I've been doing this for about three months now, give or take. And every time I get ready to do my exercise, I have to push myself because I know I'm gonna have some burn, but also at the same time, I know afterwards it feels so good. So good. I can see so much improvement since I've been doing this now. Are you a couch potato? Do you come home from work, grab something out of the fridge, sit down on the couch, watch some TV, maybe some news and some other stuff. Get up and get something to eat, sit back down on the couch again. Later, you get up, go to the bathroom and get ready to go to bed. And the next day it starts all over again. At work, you're telling people what to do. You're in an office a lot doing paperwork or whatever. You're not getting the physical exercise that your body should have. Is that you? That defines a couch potato pretty much to me. I don't care if you're 25 years old or if you're 75 years old, these warm up videos are going to help you tone your muscle, bring you back into shape, bring your lungs where your lungs are free and clear, make your thighs stronger, make your arms stronger. You're going to start to feel real muscle growth, but we have to take it slow and easy. These warm ups are going to take quite a while. Because what we want to do is not only do we want to wake your body up and start to give you some muscle tone, but your muscles have atrophied, your tendons have gotten thin, uh, your cartilage isn't strong enough right now to, to handle the base of the, all the, the exercise that you need to do. And we have to develop these and build these up before we go to heavier weights or anything else. And we're not going to try and make muscle builders out of you, you know, bodybuilders and all this. We're not going to try and develop you into some kind of professional athlete. I just want you to get into a good, healthy situation where your muscles are toned, you feel good about your body. And at the same time, it changes you up here a little bit. And you know, you start to be more conscious about what you eat. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that takes care of what my problem is too. Right now, when it gets <clears throat> in the evening, I'll come home and I'll eat something. And a little while later, maybe I'll eat, go and get a bowl of cereal or something like this. But I think my biggest problem is not that I eat candy bars during the day because I don't, but it's what I eat in the evenings. I, I eat a late supper too often, and then I still eat something else after that. And my body doesn't have any time to burn these calories, so they immediately just get stored into fat cells. What I want to do is start to control my appetite, especially in the evenings. In this video, I said that I weigh 224 pounds. And when I made the video a few minutes ago, I went ahead and made a declaration. I'm gonna set a goal for myself to get down to 210. And once I get down to 210, because I guarantee you I will at least get to 210, I may set another goal for something lower. Maybe you should look at doing the same thing. But first, most important first, is start doing these exercises, follow with the video. I'll do 20 reps of this and 20 reps of that. I may not show all 20 on the video. Maybe I'll show five or six and I'll cut to the 20th one or something like that so that you don't have to sit there and be bored by watching the whole thing. You get to see the posture that I'm using, how I'm coming up fast and going down slow so I keep muscle tension and all these little things you'll be seeing in this. But the other thing is warming up, stretching, getting your body back in shape. Enjoy these videos. God bless you.